call it a million dollar mistake. A controversial congressman, congresswoman went on television and said some things she probably regrets. And her remarks then helped her opponent raise a staggering amount of money. NBC's David Gregory has more on this story for us. Hi, David. Good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. Well, she's been called the Sarah Palin of Minnesota. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman is making a splash in some very hot water. A rising star in the state, Bachman quickly emerged as the most conservative member of Congress. Last year, she grabbed her first YouTube moment when she literally grabbed a hold of President Bush before his State of the Union address and seemed not to want to let go. Like Governor Palin, Bachman is the mother of five children. She's taken in 23 foster children over the years, a devout Christian with staunch anti-abortion views and a strong proponent of drilling for oil in Alaska. And like Palin, she's outspoken when speaking about Senator Obama. I'm very concerned that he may have anti-American views. How many people in the Congress of the United States do you think are anti-American? You've already suspected Barack Obama. Is he alone or are there others? How many do you suspect of your colleagues as being anti-American? What I would say say is that the news media should do a penetrating expose and take a look. I wish they would. I wish the American media would take a great look at the views of the people in Congress and find out are they pro-America or anti-America. I think people would would love to see an expose like that. Democrats pounced. And as she faces re-election, Bachman's words are proving costly. The interview became the basis of a TV ad, helping her opponent, Democrat Elwin Ticklenberg, raise nearly a million dollars from 18,000 new donors since Friday. We think uh, we were already moving in a position where we could win this race. Uh, she has simply strengthened that position. In this political environment, if you're a Republican inco- incumbent, you don't want any attention focused on you. Bachman declined our request for an interview, but in an interview on Monday, she backpedaled, sort of. So this has been completely misconstrued to say that I believe members of Congress are anti-American. I never said that. I said the media should look into it. I also didn't say that Barack Obama is anti-American. What I said is that the media should look into his views. Bachman's views, she has said that gay people suffer from sexual dysfunction and doesn't believe in global warming, have made her a lightning rod. Even her spokeswoman says voters either love her or hate her. I think Michelle Bachman, unfortunately, is one of those politicians who doesn't really understand the boundaries of common sense and sometimes common decency. And this morning, another Republican member of Congress is apologizing for attacking liberals. A congressman from North Carolina said at a John McCain rally, quote, liberals hate real Americans that work and achieve and believe in God. Matt. All right, David, thanks very much. David Gregory in Washington.